For as long as I can remember, art has played a predominant role in my life. Preschool is where my passion for art began to develop. Like most four-year-olds, my artwork contained drawings of misproportioned, imaginative people and animals. Clearly, by the looks of my drawings, I was no child prodigy. But despite this fact, my favorite thing to do was draw over anything else. At this young age, my art was influenced by some of my favorite cartoons, such as Powerpuff Girls and Pokemon. As my elementary education progressed, my passion for the arts began to be recognized for the first time by people other than my family. Mrs. Sullivan Davis, my art teacher at Parkview Elementary School, granted me a number of art achievement awards throughout my time as a student there. Although these awards may seem like a minuscule achievement in the grand scheme of things, I attribute my success as an artist to Mrs. Sullivan Davis. She recognized my potential and never stopped encouraging me to keep producing art. It was not until I entered middle school that I realized that art had a much more meaningful purpose, and that was self-expression. Around the age of 13, I began drawing a series of short stories that reflected some of the social issues I was experiencing during middle school. My short stories almost always included characters who were being made fun of or bullied. Instead of writing down my feelings in a diary, I found that drawing my real-life situations was a much more effective way for me to get things off of my chest. In high school, my art experiences were much different than before. My style of art drastically changed from cartoon-like and illustrative to detail-oriented and realistic due to the influence of my Aunt Nancy. I had always known my Aunt Nancy was a fantastic artist, but it was not until I became a teenager that I began to appreciate the artwork that she produced. Her drawings were so lifelike and real, it made me want to copy her style. Her success owning her own graphic design company encouraged me to take art way more seriously. During my senior year, I was eligible to enroll in an advanced placement studio arts class, where my skills really began to develop. Instead of drawing whatever I pleased, I was encouraged by my art teachers to create rationales for my art and explain why my art was important. I began focusing on the theme of human relationships and emotion, and more specifically, empathy. There was not a doubt in my mind that art was something I wanted to pursue as a professional career. I decided to begin my further education as an artist at the University of Illinois at Chicago, where I majored in art education. The work that I produced at UIC was far from satisfactory. I was not experiencing the challenge I was hoping for, gaining the skills I needed, or producing strong work. The fact that the art education program was canceled solidified my decision to leave UIC. The next stop on my art education journey led me to Northern Illinois University, which has been my greatest art experience yet.